So, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you all about coding and this app. So, I'm using Scratch Desktop. This is Scratch 3.0. So, this is the coding section where you code what you want to do. Costumes. You can design your own here for a particular sprite. You can add sounds. So, let's go to the code section. So, move this, move 10 steps. So, go to events put this in whatever you call it so that it's gonna work well some people just do like this but this is the right way some people do like this but this is the right way to do it so you can see it's moving motion is all about movement gliding bounce and pointing directions so you say turn 15 degrees it's going to go right, right, keep going, keep going. So, like this, if I put it, going to go left, 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 left. Because of that, so, it's going to go left, 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 left. So, like that. Say so you should go to random position, or just go to anywhere. Since random anywhere, so let's go to X. I'm teaching that in the next class. So. Then glide. Glide is all about just move a little on the wall. See? I'm gonna glide, glide, glide. That's about gliding. So now this should subscribe to that. Say point direction 90. So, if I say point direction 90, 90 is straight, so I'm gonna be going like this. Then, if I should put in, you can either turn this way that I'm showing, or you type. So, I'm gonna do like that. Now, watch. See, it's gonna go, 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 go. Now another feature that is going to be useful is let's change it. Even edge bounce. Watch. So no one is going back. When it hits the edge, it's going to turn straight back. Let me take it again. It's going to turn upside down because there minus ninety. So it's going to move, 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 move. When it hits the edge, it's gonna bounce straight. That, that. Now, she set restriction style left, right. So, probably what it's gonna do is gonna go left, right. Gonna go left, right. Left, right. So, that. Now, we're gonna go into the look section. Looks is all about saying things, thinking. Switch costume, change size, or switch backdrop. So if I say say hello for two seconds, see, saying that. So if I say think, hmm, for two seconds, see, I'm gonna say this first and say, hmm. So if you, this. Now I told that customs what you want to design. So I say switch custom to custom too. So there's already another custom for this block. It came with it. I didn't design it. You can design what you want. And they're plenty already there for different type of different types of um, um different type of sprites. All these things are called sprites. So if I say so what's this? See? Well, I need design that costume too. Now so if I say next costume, I didn't create costume, so I'm not gonna change anything. That's that. Then backdrop. Backdrop is like the image at the back of it stuff. Like the image. So if you wanna add, tap on this word. They are already backdrops in the app. You can upload your own, so we're gonna do it from scratch. So let me say 
baseball. See, it's shown here. So if you want to add, you can you can add a new sprite. So you just tap on it. Tap on this one that says choose sprite. You can either choose or you can upload it here. So I'm going to teach you how to choose and to upload. So if you want to choose a sprite, just tap on it and you scroll down to pick whatever you want. You 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 are going to code for each one. What well, you code for one cannot be seen like you code for a second. It don't work like that. So if you want to upload, sorry about that. If you want to upload, you tap this upload sprite. Then to go to your computer and see which image you want to post. So we are trying to put this now. See. Show now. So that's it. Then you want to upload background. Now you have to get background from the app. So you want to upload backdrop. Stay the same way. That's that. Now, so you want to change size by then. Put it. Put your when clicked. You will notice something. As you can see, this sprite is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So, even if, if you don't want to do it like that, you can also go to here, this size button here, and put in what you want. So, if I put in 55, see it's too small. If I put in 100. Yeah, that's it. So that's about change size. Go back. So change color effect. See, it's changing the colors. Can see it's turning green. That's what this one does. So I want to clear the graphics. See, when I put this. No, and I put this night on, and I put this, it's gonna go because I said clear graphic effects. So, now you want to show and hide add something. So, let me say bring, let me bring that hide, and let me hide this say hello for two seconds. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put say hello. See, it's only saying this one because I already hit this one. So for very nice time, then put in OPPO. So so here for hiding so So now you want to choose a sprite. Choose another sprite. So I choose Abby now. See these are here. So now you are gonna code for her. You can see if you go to costumes. You go to costumes, you can see she already has then so just go back and say switch costume. And don't forget your one clicked. So that's about that. If you can see now, can you see it changed? Do you notice it? And put it to show you again. See it changed. That's about looks. Now let's go to sound. So sound you want to add any sound or effect, you go to the sound button, then tap this plus section. God, there's already sounds in the app, or you could upload your own. Could upload your own. So, 
can upload your own thing. I said that can add your own sound. So there's already sound. So choose the sound. A bass or electric. So just scroll down and see what fits your coding. So let me say I had I had this. So tip net. See? You can make it faster or slower or louder or softer. Or you can fade in or fade out or reverse or whatever. So you now go to back to your coding section and you now bring this one. So whatever you put there is gonna show. Like now, let me go to my code. Let me go to my sounds. So if I want to make another one. And I put it. if you go back here, see it's gonna it's gonna change now. See you can see the pop or a trumpet or you can record. You can put your own voice in it. So then say for a trumpet now. See play. So now you want to change the pitch. Change it slightly. So, if you want to stop all the sounds after you finish coding, see. Let me, so, let me say I put this now. If I put something like this, and I play, and I put more, I pop now. I play it. And I said this. And I go back to my looks. I say hello for two seconds. You know this. He's gonna stop and say hello because it says stop all sounds. So, so if you want to put a, increase the volume, you just say set volume to 100%. So that's 100%. I can change the volume by minus 10, put whatever you want. That's for sound. Now, for events, events is what will make it happen. So if you say when space key, that means like opera down arrow is going to work. Then, if you put this one, that means when this right click, then you can switch backdrop. If you put multiple backdrops, then you can change the loudness. And you say when I receive message, broadcast or broadcast message. Now go to control. So me, mom, I use control for when I'm doing something. So now if I should do this, remove stop of sound. I put the stop of sound and I put forever. That means till I finish coding what I'm coding, it's not gonna not gonna play any music at all. Any. It's not gonna play any music. See. So see, I tap forever. Forever means it's not gonna stop. So Move this. So you can say repeated. Then you can put if then. Then add something else. Now, if you wanna say you should wait until something happens. So this thing is a boolean. So you cannot say wait until. Think. Mm. Wait until see. See if I say wait until you can hour one. want. So that that or you can say repeat until then you can stop everything then cooling. Then you can start as a clone or create clone of yourself or delete. So sensing from both sensing is like fab. So if you say touch Nice part color. So if I put this now, touching color, not really gonna work because it's not really using color. But you can put it and say, Ask your name. See, it's so gonna say, because I put it right on to you, it's not gonna work. So I'm gonna move that. So put it back. So see, what's your name? Then you're gonna type. My name Isaac. Okay. 
So you type in your name here and you press this button. You can think hmm, you want to add another future. Go back to your sentence and say answer. So you type in name again. Press okay now see it's gonna show my answer which is Isaac and so that's about that that's about that now go back to operators operators is if you want to join sprites or anything on just some calculations so let me say I bring this plus one down here and bring my events right so I'm going to put in 10 plus 10 so right up on is gonna give me 20 so it's kind of useful for calculations and you want to join sprites together so if I say Join. So if I say minus, and I put thirty, and I put twenty, it's gonna show me ten. That's about that. The next tour is I'm going to teach you more about that. So let's go to our variable. Variables. Make a variable. Pick what you want. Then it's gonna show things. So let me say, for example, I type in score and press OK. So I'm going to set my variable to zero. Change, you can either change to what you want. So if I put in score and change this one to score, so that bar variable. My blocks when to teach you that classes. Thanks for watching. Thank you.